Today in this tutorial we will create these text fields in Figma. We're gonna create a rectangle. So let's check what we got here. We got 240 by 48. We're gonna do the same. So it's gonna be 240 pixel width by 48 height. Right? That's cool. Now let's keep the the field darker so it'll be easier to see. Now let's create a label. So we have a label which is Roboto 12 and uh, 16 line height. That's the same. So we have Roboto 12 16 line height. And let's say a label. That's yep, a label is done. All right, now we're gonna have to do is add this icon. When we add the icon here, this means that this uh, field is mandatory to be to be filled. So if you if you want add if you want add the asterisk here, that means the field it's optional and it's not uh, mandatory to be filled, and the user can skip it. Okay. So now let's hit right click and add an auto layout all right now name it label all right uh, always like it like that so it's cool let's position here for now next i'm gonna have a helper text let's delete the label here we go helper usually you're gonna have the text that's gonna give user is gonna be a hint because some user they might not know what this um, field is about that's why it's always good to have a hint that will uh, give user an extra information and then it will be much easier for him to to make an action and to understand exactly what's what this uh, field is required to and what data needs to be inputted here okay now all we're gonna do is uh, hit 16 and 3 okay let's name it helper or hint here we go Let's delete that. We don't need it. Okay, that's cool. Now we're gonna duplicate it. We're gonna make sure this one is on vertical. It's gonna be four. The same will apply here, right? It's gonna be right 16. Change it to zero. This one gonna keep it to 16 right and we're gonna keep 10 60 okay 60 we have our helper counter that's gonna be a helper counter here here we go that's done. Now this positioning on the right. All right, that's cool. Now let's add four here, left and right. And it's gonna add four here as well. Now what we have to do is add the fill. It's gonna be white. We're gonna position it 16 pixels from the top. Now, all I have to do is duplicate this copy, this uh, label, and add it to 6, increase it to 16, 24, all right, and then we're gonna put in what? Text, that's cool. Add it to 16, where it says 12 and 12. All right. Now, when we got 
<clears throat> all our components in place. Now let's add the necessary styling. So what we wanted to do is get the get the elements right. So let's add this here. Let's move this helper text up. Got here to 16. We got 12 top and bottom. Now let's select all the elements and click and hit frame selection. Now let's see what's the constraints here. Let's put this constraints on the top right alignment from here so be consistent. All right, that's good. Now let's add the text. Let's copy the frame and um, this cost there would be 7272. Now if you want to have 72 let's say and they will consist just 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 type 72 and hit enter and you will duplicate the numbers. So now we we'll have the label the active state done let's go ahead and create the error state then go zero let's do the same for for them and then we need for the message as well because this is important um, keep in mind that when you create the error state um, when you select the color you have to make sure it looks fine on uh, on above on a light and dark backgrounds because sometimes if you'll choose the brighter color of this um, of this red it would be it would be very hard for you to to have it on um, the same color for the both backgrounds for the light and dark then you will have to have a separate one which is not good that's why when you create this uh, error state Consider even if at the initial stage of the design you're not gonna have dark, um, you're not gonna have a dark background for the input. Make sure you account for that because in the future you will have to, as a, as your design system um, expands, you will have to add it. Some instance there'll be a dark background, and then you will have to. And if you do account for that from the beginning, you won't have a problem on the darker backgrounds. This is a tips for you. It's something that um, that uh, helped me a lot when I uh, when I find out because I find out through experience. Okay, now let's create the disabled state. So it's gonna be C one, right? It's right here, the same. C1 done. C1 here we go. That's cool. Now all we have to do is select all the instances, create multiple components, and combine them as variants, right? That's fine. Now let's add the color. All we'll have to do is Add an auto layout and put 40 on each side. That's great. Now, now I'll we'll have to do is add the um, correct states. So all we're gonna do is select all, Command R, Control R, and say uh, state equals default. Uh, and then size would be large because you're gonna have to have two of them you're gonna have large which is desktop and gonna have uh, small which is mobile now let's go ahead and rename add them correct states so now it's active this one would be error error and this one will be disabled. Disabled. Here we go. We're gonna have multiple add more states right here. So we're gonna have 
we might have a loading state and we also might have um, a focus state. Um, I have already a tutorial uh, on, on how to create those instances. I will uh, link it right here so you can have a look. Let's select the components and remove auto layout because we need to create instances, right? So these instances right here, they would be mobile. Usually for a mobile, I'm, a, I'm the size that I'm using is 335 uh, pixel width, right? And all these um, input fields can be size S. So now we have our large text input fields and our small input field. So now if you text input text input fields, that's good. Okay, now if you if you select an instance, right? So now if you have as active error disabled, you see how they've changed it, right? And the size as well. So this would be very helpful for you because you will always have to have a responsive design and you will always have to do them responsibly. So if you don't want to spend your time always, because usually you create, you create your designs on, um, uh, on a large and then you can have medium screens, then you have small and extra small. So if you usually provide for um, developers three responsive designs, then ideally what I would do, what I'm usually do is have them in small, in a large, which is for large screens. Then you have a medium size, which is going to be for a tablets devices. And then you're going to have the text input fields for a small device. So if you define those three uh, from the beginning as a variance, you're going to be very easy and you're going to save a lot of time on your workflow. Yeah, this is how you create uh, text uh, input fields in Figma. So in our next tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you how you create this uh, animation. So on click, the, um, the label will change to the top. This is some, uh, something that's uh, it's in material uh, design. So this is what, what we're going to do with this um, input fields in the next tutorial. So stay tuned. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this tutorial, please hit the like button and subscribe and thank you so much. Have a great day.